Welcome to Star Citizen and a Ship Guide. With this light fighter, we take a look at an exotic in this category. And as in every ship guide, we start with the exterior. The interior is omitted as this alien ship has only a cockpit. We'll take a look at the usage options, which is limited to combat in this case. Before we get to the flight characteristics and a conclusion. The Aopa Cartual is a light fighter designed for the civilian human export market. The Cartual is just classified in the size small, but is on its exotic design and especially in flight mode expansive dimensions significantly larger than other representatives in this category. The components are presented as usual in the size small, a second shield generator should be mentioned here. The Cartual does not have Sukuran alien shields. For expensive 2.0 million Alpha UEC or $170, this premium model is available from Astro Marta in-game or for limited purchase in the Pledge Store. The armament is limited to two size 4 hardpoints and comes standard with two size 3 gimbaled panel laser repeaters. Missiles or other offensive systems are not available. On first launch, it is immediately apparent that the Cartual has capabilities close to a transformer. The combat speed of 224 meter per second is rather average in this category, but the maximum speed of 1323 meter per second is very strong and represents the maximum in the range of dedicated light fighters. With 880 DPS in standard loadout, the Cartual is disappointing. In the recommended loadout, however, we achieve 1850 DPS, which is sufficient for a light fighter. In the alternative ballistic cannon loadout, around 1300 DPS is achieved with a very high alpha damage of almost 1500. The all-around visibility in the cockpit seems to be very good at first due to the construction, but in the interior view we have centrally located struts, which clearly restricts the view to the front. We'll take another look at this in detail in the fight. One of the most noticeable areas on the ship are the four massive and more importantly fully rotatable thrust engines. These offer enormous possibilities in terms of fast thrust load changes and represent a novelty. The second flight mode, which is also the landing mode, is not recommended for combat or controlled operations. Due to the positioning of the weapons upwards, the Cartual is also not defensible. Let's move on to the only use of the Oopa Cartual so far, combat. This flying starfish has to do without an arsenal of missiles as well as an AMP or other features and is limited to the two size 4 weapon hardpoints. An example of the poor cockpit visibility mentioned above can be seen here. The massive struts therefore only offers a small visible area to the front and are very limiting. The view to the side on the other hand is all better. Regarding the armament, I urgently recommend to use the four size hardpoints to go into battle in a fixed loadout. Otherwise, the biggest advantage in this area is given away and the Cartual doesn't even reach the damage output of a Nomad. When using the size 4 hardpoints, it is advisable to use the maneuverability and agility of the Cartual, because this is the biggest advantage of the ship compared to other light fighters. The massive agile thrusters allow very fast direction changes as well as a strong thrust duration comparable to the Talon before the thrusters overheat. In addition, the thrust is enormous, making distance changes to the target a very simple task. Thus, I would make two recommendations for armament here, depending on your preferred playstyle. First and foremost, a setup of attrition laser repeaters, which require a very close distance for optimal damage output. Here we have an easy game with the Cartual, due to the just mentioned thrust performance and agility. 
It should also be noted in this context that temperature differences of the weapon so far do not have the effect mentioned in the technical data. Distances, on the other hand, are definitely a factor. Alternatively, as a contrast, a cannon setup, primarily ballistic, with an exploitation of the considerable distant range, is also a strong alternative. This makes it possible to inflict targeted damage at long range while avoiding enemy fire. The biggest disadvantage here, however, is that we are taken very strongly under missile and torpedo fire, which should be considered. Therefore, the loadout should be adjusted and modified depending on the purpose of the mission and the expected enemies. As usual, you can find the recommended loadouts in the video description. It should also be mentioned again that the Opa Cartual does not have the Sucuron alien shields, which are standard on the Speria models, and would be a selling point. Furthermore, the starfish optics have significant weaknesses, especially with single hits that penetrate the shields. Here we lose individual components very quickly. However, the weapon's suspensions are central and don't affect us here. However, the lack of one of the main engines, which are then sorely missed, does. Let's move on to the atmospheric flight characteristics and the conclusion. As expected, the Cartual handles excellent in the atmosphere, which results in outstanding maneuverability and agility due to the movable main engines. Such a flight feeling in combination with the enormous speed offers some advantages, especially in planetary flights. This is where the Cartual is strongest and, above all, fastest. Let's come to the conclusion about the Aopa Cartual. The speed, maneuverability and extremely strong acceleration, size 4 hardpoints and the thrust duration are to be mentioned here. The special sound and the second shields are nice but subordinate. However, the negative points are not insignificant. No missiles, fragile attachment, outlandish dimensions, comparatively little damage potential and limited cockpit visibility are strong counter arguments. And with the excessive price for what is offered, the fun finally stops. However, the look is unique and I expect this ship to undergo even greater changes. So I can only sum up the car to all in one sentence. The price is way too high for a ship that seems so weak. I hope you liked the video and leave me a like and a subscribe here. The Opa Cartual, or however you want to pronounce it properly, is one of the most interesting ships, as the visuals, as well as the sound and quantum flight are unique and not found anywhere else. However, not only is the in-game price definitely too high for what is offered, for this there are clearly more interesting light fighters. But we will clearly differentiate that with the upcoming comparison test, which ship deserves a recommendation here for which purpose. But the most important thing at the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. You are an extremely strong motivation and without you the whole thing would not be possible in this form. You rock. Thank you. And of course, as always, there are various giveaways here on YouTube, on Twitch, in the Discord and on all other channels. How to participate you find out in the video description or in the Discord. I look forward to your visit. You can find the regular German streams on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday. Feel free to have a look. I say goodbye until next time. And say as always, see you in the verse.